Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and today I have an updated tutorial on the fastest launch in this game for drag racing. This is the method that all the leaderboard times are set with. Now I did make a tutorial on how to do this way back when I initially first started using it for tunes but um, a few people have been telling me that they've still been getting a bit confused and they haven't been able to get it to work. So I thought I'd make this updated version where I'm going to walk you through step by step with commentary. So hopefully it's a bit more clearer and I answer up all the questions you've got and uh, hopefully you all get it working by the end of the video. So first things first for this launch is the settings. There are a few key settings you need to change in order for it to work. So the first thing you want to do is head over to difficulty settings. And there's three settings here that you need to have the same as me. These must be exactly the same otherwise it won't work at all. Now these settings are traction control, stability control and shifting and you want traction control off, stability control off and shifting must be manual with clutch, just manual won't work so make sure that's set to manual clutch. So uh, as long as you've got that as off off manual with clutch you should be okay on the uh, difficulty settings, all the other ones don't really make any kind of difference so you can have your own personal preference on the rest of the settings. Then the next thing you want to do is head over to options and control settings. This is where it's going to let you change your button layout of your controller. So click on that and head over to the top bar here that says layout and you want to scroll along to default layout 9. I'm pretty sure there's a couple other layouts that do work but this is the one I've always used so I think this should work for most people. So just go ahead with default layout 9, if you want to try a different layout at some point in the future you can do that, but default layout 9 is the main one that works. The thing about this layout is it puts the clutch on left trigger, and that's the key part of this uh, launch, is you need clutch on one of the triggers. So just make sure you have controller default layout 9 set. However, there is one important setting you also need to change here. In the bottom left hand corner you can see it says advanced on the menu button. So if you click that, save and continue obviously the layout you just set. And the key setting you need to change here is switch e-brake slash clutch. That needs to be set to off. I had it on and anyone else who uses manual clutch for just normal racing might have it on already. Just make sure that's set to off. The problem is if you leave that set to on, what it's going to do is move clutch from a trigger to a button and then the launch won't work at all because as I said you need clutch on a trigger for this to work so just make sure you have switchy brake slash clutch set to off and accept that now that's all of the settings you need to change so just double check you've got the difficulty settings and the controller settings set the same as I did there and now I'll walk you through the launching method now getting into actually how to launch the car provided you've set the right difficulty and controller settings. There's two main methods really to do this launch. This first method I'm going to show you is for about I'd say about 90% of the tunes. And then the last method there's a small difference to it but it's very important for some tunes because they won't work at all unless you do the little change. I uh, do specify in most of my tune videos which method to do. If you do have any doubts or you're not sure, just comment below and I'll respond with the method you're going to use. So uh, this first method is the easiest of the two and as you can see on the screen I've got a uh, controller overlay. So hopefully you should be able to follow along with that and see exactly what I'm doing and see that it is pretty easy to be honest. So with this first method of launching, it's very simple. All you do at the start is hold A and that's it. And you want to keep A held for the whole run. With this button layout set, A is going to be your throttle. Then the key thing here, which most people weren't doing based on the old tutorial, is you don't use the clutch for the shift from first to second. So that's don't use the clutch. And then for the rest of the shifts, you do want to use the clutch. So this uh, Porsche 906 I've got here is a four gear tune. So it's going to be no clutch first to second, then second to third and third to fourth. You are going to use the clutch. You'll be able to see this clearly from the uh, controller overlay in the corner when I demonstrate. Now the main thing with these type of tunes is um, knowing when to change into second gear. The general rule of thumb is it's around the end of the uh, crash barriers in between the lanes, but it does vary from car to car. 
So uh, if you're using one of my tunes, you can always look at my video of me using the tune at the end of the video and see where I change gear and then just do the same as I do. If you uh, don't know, the usual way you can find out yourself is just keep launching the car, find the point where you max out first gear, and then when you launch from then on, change from first to second just before that point. That generally is how it works, but there can be some subtle differences. So we're going to give it a go now to show you exactly what to do. So just hold A at the start, as you can see. I like to turn a bit to the right. It's a bit of a okay launch. I did go way off to the left there, and that's a common trend with this game. The cars tend to pull left on the drag strip, so I do like to launch with a tiny bit of right steering input, which you can see on the controller picture as well. So we'll give that another go. Simply holding A. Shifting end of the crash barrier and then clutch and right bumper which is shift up for the rest of the shifts. Very simple. Obviously I've done it a lot of times so I'm used to it but you should be able to get used to it in about 10 attempts to be honest. It's very easy. So uh, that's the first method, the easier method of the two and I'll be back to show you the uh, second method next. Now moving on to the second method of launching, this method the only real difference is you need to launch with a bit of clutch. Some cars like this Porsche 959 and the uh, Mustang RCR S5 for example, you need to launch with a bit of clutch. I'll demonstrate why now. If I just try launching with A like the other method you'll see what happens. The car's going to stall, so that's the way you can tell if you're using a tune whether you need to do this method or not. I'll show you one more time so you can clearly see what I'm talking about, just holding A at the start and the car won't launch in stalls so that's the way you tell if you need to do this or not. Now the way you like work around that is you need to launch these type of tunes with a bit of clutch. You can see from the uh, overlay that I'm holding the clutch in a tiny bit there and you want to release that clutch when Go shows up on the screen just as the car launches. It's not the easiest thing in the world, it's going to take you a few attempts to uh, get it bang on. Try and get it somewhat right for you now. So holding a bit of clutch. Wasn't too bad. Obviously this car can do a lot faster than I've just done. It, it will take you a few attempts to get the best times with these tunes. I'll try and show you one more time here. So we'll hold the clutch a tiny bit of the way in. And when Go pops up. It's uh, 9.182, not completely terrible for the 959. Now there's one small thing you might have noticed with this tune compared to the other one. It's that I uh use the clutch to shift from first to second. Now it's very rare that a tune actually does this, but the uh, reason for that is the first gear is really long, so if you try not using clutch it won't work. It's really rare that a tune actually does that and I will clarify if you need to do that or not, so that's why I'm not really going to pay much attention to it. In general, just go off of the first method of not using the clutch from the shift from first to second. So that should cover everything you need to know really to use these ACS style launch drag tunes. As per usual, if you have uh, any other questions or you're still a bit confused, make sure you uh, comment down below and I'll try and get back to you and answer your questions if you're still a bit confused about what to do. And uh, if you could leave a like on this video if you found it helpful, that should help get it out to more people so more people know how to do this launch and use the tunes properly because I do get quite a lot of people still commenting that the tunes aren't working when they're not doing the right launching method so uh, that would really help if you could leave a like and uh, that's it from me thanks for watching